Shalom family, God bless you. This is Prophetic Intercession with Amel. You're welcome. If you're seeing for the first time, I am a Prophetic Intercessor. I intercede for my family members who are my YouTube subscribers. I pray for you. I intercede that the promises of God over your life manifest speedily. I give you prophetic words, prophetic declarations. We come on life to pray and decree and declare the word of God upon our lives every day. I am here as the voice of the Lord to you. Please, if you're yet to become a part of this family, kindly consider to become a part of us by subscribing to this channel and turning on the notification bell so that whenever there is a new content, you are not going to miss out on it. Hallelujah. And so I came across this scripture today and it ministered to me differently. And I thought to share it with us. It ministered to me differently. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. This is God talking to Jeremiah. He says, for I know the thoughts. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord. Thoughts of peace, not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I came across this scripture, it ministered to me differently today. So it actually means that God is thinking about you. God is thinking about you. He says they are thoughts of good and not of evil to give you a future. Another Bible version says an expected end. No wonder the Bible says all things work together for good. Today that love God and are called according to his purpose. Because God is continually thinking about you. He's continually looking out for you. And he's continually paving the way that is going to lead you to an expected end. That is going to give you a life and a meaning. God is thinking about you continually. In the good times of your life and in the bad times, God is thinking about you. Do you know that right now, God is thinking about you? Do you know that right now, God has plans for you? The devil is never more than God. The devil is never more than God. If God is thinking about you always, it means even if the devil tries to get into your life, to penetrate your life, God is constantly trying to look how he can use what the devil is doing in your life to turn it around for your good. God uses everything to bring it for your good. God uses everything, even the devil. God uses the devil for your good. Even the devil, God uses him for your good. Sometimes the devil may think that he has skimmed his way into your life. He is about to destroy you. And God is just using the devil to push you towards where he wants you to be. God used the devil's jealousy to push Jesus to the cross. If the devil knew that nailing Jesus on the cross was going to lead to the redemption of mankind, he would not have done that. God was constantly thinking about us. When Jesus was suffering, when he was being flogged and nailed on the cross, God was constantly thinking about us. God was thinking about us. And right now, God sent me to tell you, he is thinking about you. He is thinking of how to remove you from that situation. He is thinking of hallelujah, glory to God. God says he is not looking at where you are right now. He is preparing your future. I just heard that as I was releasing these words. God says he's not thinking about where you are right now. He is preparing your future. He is preparing your end. He is preparing your tomorrow. He's not looking at what is happening right now because he can turn that situation around in a fraction of a second. God is thinking about you and they are thoughts of good and not of evil hallelujah glory to god they are thoughts of good and not of evil to give you a life and a meaning that's what another bible version says it says to give you a life and a meaning go about your daily activities today knowing that god loves you that he is thinking about you he can't stop thinking about you he's thinking ab about how to make your life better how to make you a better person. How to bring that, that promise to manifestation in your life. God can't stop thinking about you. He says he has written your name in the palms of his hands. 
so that he cannot forgive you. Your names are, have been engraved in the palms of his hands. That's how much God loves you and he is thinking about you. That is your assurance that this situation you are into is not unto death. But for his glory, he's going to glorify himself. He's going to glorify himself in this situation. It is not unto death. It is not unto disappointment. It is not unto hurt. It is not unto death. But it is for the glory of the Lord. God has written your name in the palms of his hands. He can't stop thinking about you. He can't stop making plans for you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I pray your faith does not go down. I pray you do not give up until you see the glory that God has prepared for you in the name of Jesus. I pray you see the glory that God is preparing for you. You shall not die before your time. You are going to live long enough to see what God is preparing for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you.